On the island of Bali, signs of spirituality are everywhere to be seen. There are at least 20,000 public temples, and most have rituals that are distinct from those of any other. But in the ancient village of Kesima, believers take part in a rite that people elsewhere might consider taboo. Tomorrow, Agus Suantara will rest his faith on the point of a knife. Once every Balinese year, the people of his village appeal to their gods during a rite called Pengrabongan. During Pengrabongan, devotees offer their bodies to the will of the gods, who are said to control the knife. In return, they hope the gods will grant them continued prosperity in the upcoming year. Although Indonesia is the world's most populous Muslim nation, in Bali, the dominant religion blends imported Hinduism with local belief in spirits. The spirit world infuses daily life. Algus may have gotten his religious conviction from his father, Anik. Anik works carving the elaborate cremation towers that typify Balinese funerals. But he also serves as a priest in the upcoming ceremony. As the priest, it is Anik's responsibility to wear the mask of Rangda, the widow witch of death. The Rangda mask will be purified to gain consciousness. The Balinese believe that ceremonial masks act like lightning rods for the gods. They hold enormous cosmic energy for good or evil when the god enters into them. It is the morning of the festival. August and other members of his extended family set off in a regal procession, but they are not alone. Column after column of devotees from other family compounds and even other villages fill the streets. Some of the other groups have brought Rangda masks of their own. Others arrive accompanied by a Barong, a mythical beast whose magic is believed to protect villages from harm. The gods begin to arrive. Anik gives himself over to Rangda. All around, other living gods seize breathing bodies. A spirit enters Agus. One believer after another is helped through the ceremonial gate. Knives are raised and ready. Then, Agus impales the knife against his chest. It is the job of his keepers to restrain him. All around him, Others take the same deadly risk. Only rarely does the blade actually enter the body. But the attempted sacrifice is a clear sign of the god's presence. Finally, weary and dazed, they are helped back through the gate. Slowly, the gods depart the bodies of the faithful. For August, his belief in the gods has delivered him safely.